Hey everyone, Peter back again. We're going to look at the identity matrix squared. What would that possibly equal? Well, to get us started, let's just consider the analogous element in the real numbers. That's the number one. Okay, the identity matrix works a lot like the real number one. And we know that the real number one squared, well, for a start, that equals what? One times one. And one times one, of course, is just one. So when we square the unit in the real numbers, well, the number one rather, we get one. Okay, uh, so how can we think about this in the case of the, the identity matrix? So the identity matrix squared is gonna equal the identity times the identity. And we know that Multiplying any matrix, doesn't matter if it's the identity or any other matrix, by the identity leaves that other matrix unchanged. So it will equal i. Let's just get some intuition by uh, maybe computing the case in the two by two matrices. So what do we have? One, zero, zero, one. Remember, the identity matrix has ones down the main diagonal and zeros everywhere else. It's got to be a square matrix. Okay, I squared. That's going to be I times I, like so. So how do we do this? We work across the row and down the column. So here, we're going to have one times one is one plus zero times zero is zero. And now we're doing this row and this column. So one times zero is zero, zero times one is zero. Okay, now we're gonna work down the second row and the first column. Zero times one is zero, one times zero is zero. Okay, lastly, across this row, down this column. Zero times zero is zero, one times one is one. Okay, that one saved us. So if we just clean things up a little bit here, what do we have? We've got one, zero, zero, one, which is just like we hoped for. That's the identity matrix.